I greet you family good news to you good news to you welcome you to another video so in this video uh, we are reacting to a teaching of um, prophetess bb angel and apostle john Suslema on how to train your word you know the scripture said in proverbs 22 says it's a train up a child in the way it should go that when the child grows up he or she shall not depart from it so in this video they were teaching on how to godly upbringing of a child so that he will not become problem to the society so subscribe like share and comment to this day i have four sons to my name <laughs> four sons the eldest being 20 years old and the youngest is 11 going on 12. there are people here who have never told their children i love you right here they, you your eyes are square with mine right now we are looking at each other eyeball to eyeball not a single day have you told your children you love them if you have daughters i feel sorry for you if you never tell your daughter you love them because one bozo is going to do that job for you and you will have zero good intentions by telling your daughter i love you he'll have his own intention and he will succeed because it's foreign to her to be told i love you to be told you are beautiful to be told all these things they've never heard it in their life and guess what you will do so you have started with boyfriends i want to beat you till you have no skin but the boyfriend told told me i love you i never known love in my life nobody told me nobody told me i was beautiful and this man is telling me this thing so now it's always the children in the wrong yet what have you taught them what have you shown them most importantly what have you shown them what example have you given them we make a mistake in thinking that training children is simply just talking. Children learn by seeing more than they actually hear. So you might be here and you say, my children never listen to me. No matter what I say, this child does not listen. Have you shown them how? So children learn more by seeing and copying. So when you tell them, I don't ever want to catch you smoking and yet they know you are a chain smoker yourself guess what happens next week you catch them smoking and then you beat them for smoking i never want to see you do this i will never do it papa i will never ever do it what will you do the following week you will catch them doing it again why because you are doing it this is the example you set before them so children learn more by seeing you when he says train up a child it primarily means by your actions and so we train them we tell them what to do but we also show them how it's done where is your child going to learn what the perfect marriage is how is your child going to know what a, a, a good man should be in a home unless he sees his father be good to his mother how does a child know how to be a good wife unless he has seen her mother exemplify what a good wife actually is and so when children are young and this is another mistake we make we wait for our children to grow up we are waiting for them to mature in order for us to actually start having important conversations the devil is not waiting for your child to grow news flash the devil is not waiting for your child to mature enough for you to start talking about intimacy with them the moment they get to kindergarten one child who has some demonic tendencies because there are children with demonic tendencies you don't know the background of where they are coming from so when you take your child to kindergarten you are thinking there is innocence there no not in this world not anymore and so you are waiting for your child to become 10 years old 15 years old 20 years old to start training them because you think by the time they are 15 they have a better understanding when the devil has already finished with them and so we start young we start when they are early when they are young rather when they have an understanding of even when they start saying their first words we need to start teaching them there and then what the word of god is start teaching them what true love is start showing them what true love is and so what is it that you are showing your children in your homes we have parents who are constantly shouting at their children you are constantly angry with your children but are you showing them the lifestyle, the correct lifestyle in Christ? What is it that you are actually showing them? 
Maybe you are an angry mother. You are always angry. You are always shouting. There are no uh, words of affection that come from you ever. And yet you demand your children to be a certain way. It doesn't work that way. Be the example to your children. When the Bible says train up your child, it means be the example to your children of exactly how you want them to turn out. Uh, that was an amazing submission, an amazing uh, uh, advice from the prophetess, prophetess B.B. Angel, the wife of Prophet Chibet Angel. So now let's listen to what Apostle Suleiman also has to say concerning training of a child, how he train and discipline his children. So let's go straight to this video. Please subscribe, share, like, comment. Pastor must deliberately settle down to train his child. Don't assume your children know God. Lead them to Christ. Deliberately. How can a pastor have a useless child? Why? Why will a pastor have a child that doesn't know God? Why? Why? Deliberately. Why will a believer, a Christian, is your child that, that, that they will bring bad reports from school? Bad this? Because you are, you, are, you are taking that, you are taking for granted. A little child is desiring what elders you have. One day my wife and I were flying in a commercial flight. I put myself business. I put our business, children, economy. I have the money. I can put them on business. Go to economy. When you start working your money, enter business class. Daddy, daddy, but... Go there! People there are people's children. What if we want to talk to you and mommy? Don't talk to us till we land. Don't pamper children to destruction. My son was nine. He said, daddy, can I have a phone? I said, for what? He said, for a call. I said, it's only me and your mother that are calling you. We can shout your name. Who is calling you? It's only me and your mother that have the right and your siblings. And we will just shout your name and you come. So you don't need a phone. What are you doing for nine years? Phone. For what? As if I give you a phone and you should say no, daddy, I don't want. What are you doing with the phone? So you don't need a phone. You don't need hey, what if I want to talk to my friend? Which friend? Who permits you to have friend? At nine. What do you what do you know about friend? What is friend? Your child has eight years. Useless. Parents are doing nothing. I, 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 don't, don't be angry. I, I, I'm, I'm trying to help you. My boy forgot his notes. He forgot one note in the school. And I got home, they were looking for the notes and everything. I said, where's the notes? I said, I forgot it in school. I said, you will go back to school. You'll be in that classroom alone. You will sleep there. You're not coming back home. I can go and get it. No, I don't need the notes. You, I don't need you. Go to that school. You will sleep in that school. You forgot notes. You are not important. But what's the value? What's the value? You forgot one of your... That I don't know. I left. I was in a hurry. You will hurry back. And you will stay there. You are pampering your children. Your child is eight, you paint the hand. Your child is this, you paint, you paint it. Are you serious? Are you serious? Give them what they want. Give them what they want. They are children. Eh? When I see my, my wife talking to my children, I'll just throw my ear like I'm not hearing. When she will finish, then finish the, one or two will come and report to me. The way my mom talking to me, I say, you are coming to who? The person that will kill you or the one that will bury you? The one that... <laughs> you are, how can you move from fire to fire? You are coming to report to who? The one that will carry you inside and flog you. That one is only talk, so just be it. You have entered the family already. You cannot unenter. <laughs> you, have, you have entered already. So when people see them loving God, passionate about God, always talking about God, when I discuss with my children, it is God, God. They discuss their encounters with me. They discuss what God is telling them. This is what God told me, sir. This is what God told me, dad. This is what God told me. That's what I want to be here. Not telling me that my birthday is coming. What will you buy for me? Buy what for you? Which birthday? Who knows you? Which birthday? Your birthday come, your birthday go. There's no, are you serious? I will buy something for you. For birthday. I brought you to this world. I will now buy something. When I was bringing you, what did you give me? Are you what I'm talking about? There are some people no there are things as a father i should know to do don't ask me you ask me you won't get it my children no you don't ask me for anything if you ask me you won't get it if you ask me you won't get it but i know what to do i know what to do i'm trying to let you know the bible says don't take the rod of correction from a child they say beat him he will not die that's what god said beat god almighty you sit them down. Talk to them. Don't say they are too small. That is how parents make their children their friends. Talk to them. Say, this is not right. 
That is not right. Stop this. Don't do this. Don't do that. I, I, I might say, I just believe God is dropping something for somebody. The breakdown today, the breakdown, the breakdown of society is the breakdown of family. And the breakdown of family is on the platform and premise of the breakdown of upbringing. If not bad upbringing, what is a 17-year-old boy looking for as a Yahoo boy? Uh, please don't skip this video. More is still coming. I want to show you more of Apostle John C. Suleiman advising parents on how to train their worth. Computer game, computer game. My children brought their results to me recently. And I gave them gifts. My, my second daughter said, Daddy, you are giving us this for this. What we should do? I said, no, take. One of my children did 10 courses at 10 A's. 10 courses, 10 A's. The other one had 8 A's. The one that didn't do well had 5 A's. That's that was fair enough yes some are looking for one this one had five and when me and the mother sat down my father was talking to her he said, my father said i'm not surprised i'm not surprised we know where it's coming from i, I was smiling and my wife said me too i said eh? <laughs> because why i tell them i must not see you with a phone carry a book be productive have children that are productive not your children that are going about doing lion king lion the king they know all the cartoon mickey mouse <laughs> so what i'm doing like mommy i'm doing like mickey mouse tell him no do like professor do like professor don't do like mickey mouse do like professor See me and we are pushing ourselves like Tom and Jerry. No, push yourself like accountant and, and surgeon. Children that be productive. Children that fear the Lord. If you know what children are doing, if you sit your children down and ask questions and they tell you things. Eh? Hey, hey, hey. You think they don't know anything? So I'm telling you, fruit of the womb is not only conception, delivery, raising. If you know what they are doing, then you are, have your children said some things and you look at them, you are, you are wondering where it came from. Have your children said something? One day, <laughs> one day in my house, my wife was getting ready to go to church. I was not getting ready. I was just sitting down, shaking my head around my room. So my kids came, they said, ah, daddy is not dressed. After five minutes, they came back. Mommy is dressed. Dad is not dressed. The third time they came, Dad is not dressed. One of them said, Okay, I know why. He said, Mommy is dressed because she's not preaching. Dad is asking God to give him the names of people and their problem. I say, Yeah. I say, Yeah. God to tell him the problems of the people so he can pray for. I say, hey, whoa, I'm dressing up. <laughs> Another time, I was tired. I was late for church. They ran to my room. Daddy, you are not dressed. I said, no. They go to the door. So okay. It's like Daddy doesn't have a message. That be a new message today. He, I will ask their mother. Are you the one? He say, as you see, that's what I see. They are growing up speedily. You miss a child from two. So 12 you may have lost that child focus on your children it's not just conception delivery and what reason so what is fruit of the womb conception delivery say that to your neighbor conception delivery conception conception So if you are here and they say you can't have a baby no medical nonsense has the capacity
to hold back your womb from giving birth to seed if jesus tarries to come by this time next year anyone believing god for a child you are pregnant already you are pregnant already i said god is giving you a miracle baby heaven is attending to you so family i appreciate you for watching this video um, don't forget to subscribe turn on the notification button so that anytime i post a video you'll be the first to get a notification god bless you i'll see you in my next one shalom